You, you talked about the mismatch between the needs of, of job creators, to use a slightly political term, I guess, um, but of job creators uh, and the actual workforce in a place. And so this idea of uh, that perhaps there's a way to match these up, uh, what's talked about as a skill census. But how would that work? Well, that basically is reaching out and surveying the, the ultimate customer, which is the employment, the business people, and saying, look, what are the, what's the cutting edge here? What is the marketplace demanding? We're training these people. We hope to eventually match them up with you. What is it you need? What are you looking for? We want to make sure we're not just training people in a vacuum, uh, but training them in a way that's going to benefit them and actually benefit you by making that match make sense. Uh, you know, I never cease to be amazed uh, back in my uh, time in the Senate, every you know, couple of years we'd have to vote on something, I think, the name was H-1B3 visas. Basically, uh, the, the high-tech community was telling us we don't have enough trained software programmers. We don't have enough trained technicians in these high-tech areas, which paid pretty well. We don't have them indigenously here in America, so we've got to give visas to let these folks in. Otherwise, the uh, business will migrate from uh, Silicon Valley to Bangalore or to uh, you know, uh, Beijing or someplace. And so we said, okay, if we don't have those folks, we'd rather have the business here than somewhere else. But side by side of that should be a very aggressive program of saying, well, if we don't have it, if we're not training enough Americans to fill these kind of good paying jobs, well, by God, we ought to. So that someday we won't have to have the visa program. So it's matching up the demand for good paying jobs and the skills that they're required with the training programs. And, and the, the other huge beneficiary, of course, is the worker is that while the businesses tell the state and everybody understands what we need, the universities try to do more about that in the community colleges, also the 16-year-old the or the person about to finish community college can find out, because this would all be publicly published, well, here are the kinds of jobs I ought to be trying to get ready for, see what interests me, because I can get a job like that. Mm -hmm.